Hello, good morning and welcome to Sarojini Smart Learning. So we hope definitely you are enjoying our videos on our channel and in future also we are going to uh, get all new videos for you specially related to school children or college children and uh, there is a demand for a uh, few topics so I am concentrating on those topics which uh, demand is there right so many of the parents and students are discussing about fractions so I would like to come uh, from beginning to like uh, basic onwards for the fractions so we will discuss in detail right so and you know that for the last 20 years I am in training students especially maths Vedic maths and abacus so hope you can avail all these programs through my channel to you because this is a covid pandemic so i cannot come to your place or you cannot come to my place and uh, online may possible may not possible instead of that one you can learn all these topics through my channel hope you definitely enjoy these topics so we are going to discuss today about fractions right now we discuss about fractions first of all you should know what is fraction is what is fraction in the school level from fourth class onwards it will start till till you write uh, competitive exams and bank exams or any exams really which are related to jobs so they have a lot of fractional calculations so but people will get confused in adding subtracting and multiplying or dividing the fractions to your fractions numbers so first of all we discuss about what are fractions first of all Be before that fractions we should know that what is a whole whole is a complete one so it may be a circle this is whole or this is a triangle this is also whole whole means a complete picture or if you take this square sorry so this is also a whole or if you take a rectangle so this is also a whole or anything anything you take a picture so this comes under whole whole means complete w h o l e whole okay it's a complete picture now suppose uh, on our birthdays children will cut the cake suppose this is the cake this is the cake and the children will cut the cake like this and take out that piece okay so this is what fraction is this is what fraction is suppose if I make it two parts so one part two part total how many parts there are two parts and if I paint like this so how many parts are painted one so one by two is called nothing but a fraction Suppose if I make four parts and if I shared any one part, so this is one part shaded by how many total parts there are four. So this is called one by four. That is a fraction. And here also you can make any number of uh, parts like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So and you paint like this. So this is three by twelve. So this is a fraction. So in this way we can write the fractions from a whole. Fraction is nothing but a part of the whole, right? Now why we are writing 1 by 2, 1 by 4 like that? We'll check now. Suppose if I write 1 by 2. So as I told this is a fraction. What is this? This is a fraction. Now in this 1 by 2. 1 is called the numerator. 1 is called the numerator. And 2 is called the denominator. So, the numerator and denominator is divided by a line. That's it. So, this is called a fraction. So, fraction consists of a numerator and a denominator. That's it. Now, in this fractions also, there are different type of fractions. Different type of fractions. Fractions means, so first we will talk about proper fraction. Proper fraction. What is a proper fraction? 1 by 2 I take. 3 by 4 I take. 
फाइव बाई सेवन आएंगे सेवन बाई इलेवन आएंगे और थर्टीन बाई फिफ्टी सेवन आएंगे टिक दीज आर कॉल्ड प्रॉपर फ्रैक्शन दैट मीन्स हाउ टू रिमेंबर प्रॉपर फ्रैक्शन As I told, the first number is the numerator and the down number is the denominator. In proper fraction, always the denominator is more than the numerator. The denominator is more than the numerator, or you can call the numerator. The numerator is less than the denominator. They are called proper fractions. Simple logic. Always denominator greater. Comparing to the numerator, those are called proper fractions. Now I talk about improper fraction. Improper fractions are nothing but three by two, seven by five, or eleven by seven, or fifty-seven by fourteen. So here the numerators are more than the denominator; they are called improper fraction. That is the only difference. The difference is here the denominators are more than the numerator is a proper fraction, and the numerators are more than the denominator is called an improper fraction. So uh, types of fraction we can call types of fractions. We are discussing about types of fraction. So among those, the first part is proper fraction. Second part is improper fraction. So do you think only there are two? No, there are many. So we will we'll learn in detail. So third part, if I go, there is a card mixed fraction. We call mixed fraction. Now what are mixed fraction? So mixed about what? A whole number and a proper fraction. A whole number it may be four, seven, nine, eight, three. So whole number. So one by two if you take, or three by five you will take, or one by seven you take, or four by nine you take, or it is seven by eight you can take. So these are the examples of a mixed fraction. In mixed fraction we have a whole number and a proper fraction, not an improper fraction. It should be a proper fraction. A whole number and a proper, whole number and a proper, whole number and a proper fraction, whole number and a proper fraction is nothing but mixed fraction. So first we discuss about proper fraction, where the denominators are more than the numerators. Second is improper fraction, where the numerators are greater than the denominator. And the third part is mixed fractions. In the mixed fraction, one whole number will be there. And a proper fraction will be there. So this is about mixed fraction. Now next we call like fractions, and there is also called unlike fractions. If I explain like fraction, then you will understand unlike fraction. Like fraction. So suppose two by seventeen. Three by seventeen, eight by seventeen, twelve by seventeen. So when the denominators are same, they are called like fractions. Unlike fractions are nothing but when the denominators are different. When the denominators, like uh, one example may be two by three and one may be four by seven or eight by nine or uh, twelve by seventeen like this. So when the denominators are different, different, they are called unlike fractions. And like fractions are nothing but the fractions whose denominators are same. They are called like fractions, right? Now coming to next, unit fraction. Unit fraction. Unit means what? Unit means one. So it may be one by three. Or one by seven, one by nine, one by two, whatever the denominator. Is. The numerator should be one. So that is nothing but unit fraction, isn't it? And um, equivalent fractions are there. We call equivalent. Equivalent fractions. Equivalent fractions. I will explain. Uh, like. One by two. 
1 by 2 is a number given. So, equivalent to 1 by 2 means if you multiply into 2 into 2 with the numerator as well as the denominator, what you get 1 2 is a 2 by 2 2 is a 4. So, 1 by 2 and 2 by 4 are equivalent fractions. Why? Because if I take 2 by 4, this part, and on get kind of 2 1s are 2 2s are get again you remain with 1 by 2 only isn't it so without changing the value whatever the fraction they are called equivalent fractions and if i multiply with 3 and 3 you will get 1 3 is a 3 and 2 3 is a 6 so 1 by 2 2 by 4 3 by 6 and 4 by 8 and 5 by 10 so this all comes under equivalent fraction that means whatever the fraction is given to that multiply the same number to the numerator as well as to the denominator. So they are called equivalent fractions. So this is a, a basic introduction about fractions. Now first, here also we have additions of fractions, subtractions of fractions, multiplication of fractions and divisions of fractions. Again in Addition of fraction, again there are two types. One is adding, adding like fractions. Addition of like fraction or adding. Addition you can call or adding like fractions. Also. Like 2 by 3, 4 by, no I will take proper fraction only. 2 by 7, 3 by 7. Now this is a proper fraction, this is a proper fraction. And they are like fractions because the denominators are same. So how to add? Nothing but 2 by 7 plus 3 by 7. When the denominators are same, just write down the same number and add these the numerator part. 2 plus 3 which is equal to 5 by 7. So simple of adding of a like fraction. Suppose 5 by 12 plus 6 by 12. So the denominators are same that is 12 we take and the numerators are 5 and 6 with a sign plus. So which is equal to 11 by 12 we can, we can call. So this is what like fractions. I will explain the unlike fractions in the next episode. Now if you subtract Subtract like fractions I will show you. If you want to subtract. So 8 by 17 minus 3 by 17 if I take. So this is a proper fraction. This is a proper fraction. And you want to subtract. And I told you it is a like fraction because the denominators are same. So here we will make it 17 because the denominators are same. So the numerator are 8 minus 3. 8 minus 3 which is equal to 5 by 17. So whatever the number is given, we are going to concentrate only on the denominator, whether they are like or unlike. If they are like, directly we write the denominator as it is and the numerator, whatever the given number. If it is in addition, plus is given, add the flag, add the numbers. If the subtraction is given, subtract the number. So these are the two methods we are going to follow and in depth about multiplication, division or board mass and I, in an, another episode we are going to discuss for today. So hope you understood what are fraction, what are different types of fractions and in the coming episode will come in details. Okay, hope you understood uh, this topic. Thank you very much.